Hello, Buddhas. I am a Buddha billionaire, and today we are going to be talking about how to actually launch that desire. Now, when we're launching desires, it is absolutely crucial to remember that they've been launched and that once that step has happened, it's somewhat out of your control. And that is part of the absolutely incredible fun aspect of having the faith or having the belief in the law of attraction. Now, I like to consider the law of attraction to really be an extension of my own personal power or to be something that I play with but not controlled by. That allows me to have a little bit more freedom and to have a little bit more empowering thought around how it works. Because if I just consider it some external force that is in charge of how it works and I have to conform to it, then I'm really giving away that power, which we've talked about in videos that I've got linked down below about don't give away your power. And that means don't give it away to anyone. So this first step here in this easy peasy three step process is launching that desire. Launch that rocket, get it off the launch pad, and then you have to forget about it. I know that's not always easy, but you kind of have to launch it and forget it and just trust the universe that that desire has been launched, it has been set, and that you are done. Forget, move on. Now that in itself can be quite challenging for me personally, because I'm a very analytical person who likes to keep track of everything that's going on, but it has happened to me where I've launched a desire immediately, gotten distracted by something, which is a very easy way of forgetting, and then having that desire appear in my life within literally the, the, the next hour, having that manifestation. I've got videos about that down below as well in my playlist. And then that third step, the easiest thing, the best thing to do, step three is kind of actually how to do step two, is to appreciate where you are now. And again, that's not necessarily always easy. It's not always hard but it's not necessarily always easy to appreciate where you are now if the whole reason is that you're launching a desire to be somewhere else. And that's where things like meditation and gratitude and journaling can come really in handy for focusing your mind on what you want and what the positive aspects of your world are. So as an example, for me, I'm working on manifesting a larger place to live. If you have seen my tour of my condo down below, you can see that the 500 square feet I'm in is beautiful and amazing, but the 500 square feet is starting to feel a little bit on the smaller side for myself and Butterscotch, and we would really like to live somewhere that's got a bit more space where he can run around and we can have a good time. So, if I'm constantly complaining about this place, Notice how I didn't complain about that. I just pointed out some aspects, but in a very appreciative way because this place is fantastic. But if I'm constantly complaining about this place, saying that this condo sucks, it's too small, there's no anything, blah, 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 then I'm just attracting more of that into my life because that's where all of my focused energy goes. But if I say that this condo has protected me from the harsh, cold Canadian winters, and I really appreciate that, and that this condo has provided a warm, loving environment for me to really grow and to really go through an entire spiritual awakening in, and I will forever be grateful for it for that, and that this condo has entertained friends and family and guests and has been a, a loving environment, well, those are easy things to say, and they're not necessarily specifically about any specific aspects of the place, but they're more about feelings. And that's a really quick and dirty kind of way of getting around the reality that you're in because all that we're in now as a reality is actually just what we've already manifested that's been brought to light. Literally brought to light, out of light. And then Buddha's the bonus step. When you've launched it and when you forget about it and when you appreciate what you have right freaking now, that's when the universe goes ahead 
and proves to you what the heck is actually going on. And it says, hey, Buddha billionaire, here is that thing, ta-da, have a nice day, we got your back, bro. We all got your back, bro. And it's over, and you're ready to go, hey, that's fantastic, but I'd like it in a different color. No, you're ready to actually appreciate that manifestation, and you're gonna notice that that manifestation, that appreciation of that thing that just happened, it's gonna feel so natural and so incredible, because it's gonna feel exactly like all the appreciation you were just giving to the now now, but about something different instead of more appreciation for something better. Better is so objective and so laissez-faire, it's so based on nothing that we really need to start appreciating the now. And I'm focusing most of the video on this part and repeating myself constantly on purpose because now is what we'll, it's all we have. Because now is now and then was then and now will never be then and then will never be now. You, you, just kind of how it is. I mean, at this level of existence, that's how it is. We are stuck in the time stream, people, but you can surf it with reality transurfing or Buddha billionaire, because a lot of what we talk about is reality transurfing. And Buddhas, remember, at the end of the day, the three steps, right? You got launch it, forget about it, appreciate it, and profit, bonus step. Buddhas, remember, the end of the day, after liking, commenting, and subscribing, and sharing this video with people that need to hear it, remember to love yourself.